So, this video needed to be made, um, especially with uh, Axial uh, blowing up the micro crawler scene with the introduction of the SCX24. I have some years of experience building. Uh, anyway, point of the video is, <laughs> like the title says, how to build a micro crawler. Um, specifically, crawler. Emphasis on crawler. Uh, a crawler does not sit up here. This is not what a crawler will look like. You don't have the guts of your rig hanging out of the bottom of the friggin thing because you took a model body and you slapped it up here on top of all the electronics. No. Um, a crawler has a low center of gravity. This is a monster truck or a mudder. If you, if you build something like this, you built a mudder or a monster truck and it's not going to crawl for despite what you think. Okay? So this is my current build right now. And I'm building a crawler. Rock crawler. So look at that right height. And this is this is empty. This is empty. I have, there's almost no load on the suspension. So when you start throwing everything that's gonna be in there on it, in it. And that is beautiful. This thing is going to crawl like a spider. Okay? And look at this. There's popular YouTubers on here that are doing, show, showing their micro crawler builds. And, and I just keep laughing because they don't know what they're doing. Does that look like a belly dragger to you? No. Look at that. Everything is up in there. Okay? Everything is up tucked into the vehicle. And the vehicle actually has suspension. Look at that. For the guys that uh, run what they call full droop, which is code for I have no suspension. My flip-flops around on the rocks like a dying fish out of water. That's retarded. Anybody who runs full droop I just think is retarded because as soon as they get off camber and the 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 low the weight of the vehicle shifts there's just flops over like this or it flops over like that depending where it's at you know on the rocks and just threaten it flips over because you didn't you didn't anticipate the weight shifting in an instant which it shouldn't but since you decided to build it retarded that's what it does so uh, full droop is code for I don't understand suspension dynamics therefore I have none and I built my vehicle too tall so I pulled the coils out of the springs or co coils out of the shocks. I have no suspension now, and my sh doesn't work right. So, now to show you how you accomplish this, since people seem to not understand, I'm, the reason I'm like kind of salty about this, well, not kind of, I'm salty about it, is that for years I've been I've been watching this on a regular basis for years take place. And the knowledge should be out there by now. We shouldn't have people doing this unless they're just lazy and they don't want to put any effort into building. Because you're not building something if you buy a model body and you just throw it on top of everything that comes. You, you pull the Lexan body off and you say, oh, mm, you just slap everything else 10 feet off of the ground. Your friggin' upper shock mounts are like below the the freaking rocker panels on the doors. It looks retarded, and it is retarded, and it will run retarded. So now to show you how you accomplish this, um, 
the the really the toughest part is with trucks um, if you have a truck listen you're coming through that bed if you want to build it right your chassis rails your chassis rails are coming through that bed it's just part of it the SCX uh, 24 chassis is definitely a lot better for fixing hard bodies too than than like say the uh, Losi uh, trail tracker or micro crawler chassis is um, I was very pleased when I got this uh, but I, st I still this is the S this is a S10 90s early 90s model S10 square body so um, I was already planning on doing like a truggy style build so out come the bed and you got to you got to come through the freaking floor pan man come through the floor plan pan do it right you got to remove stuff and you can always you know that's what this is for that's what styrene is for you get 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 yourself some polystyrene get yourself sheets of polystyrene different thicknesses and stuff and actually build something because that's how you have to do it you have to bring those frame rails and the transmission and the motor all through the floor pan and then things that you chop out you can build back up you can build uh, bridges with with the polystyrene however you need to It's super workable, super workable. You get yourself some polystyrene and you get yourself some uh, plastruct bonding and you start learn to start working with that. This stuff's awesome, it's amazing. And it's how you build. Look, the frame rails, the frame rails, the chassis rails for this, they're in the grill. They're behind the grill, man. They're way up in here. My shock, my upper shock mounts, I'm going to get the Kinetic KMS uh, double barrel shocks, so they're going to be much longer. I might, uh, I might do them like 1-1 uh, 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 dual rate long travel, you know, coilovers and pop them out of the hood. I mean, that'd be super cool. But they got to, dude, you got to get up in there. Main point of this video, you got to get up in there. Bring the through the floor, man. Build it. You get the guts up inside there, and you know if, if you're if you're good and if you really care about like interior and stuff like that, man, you can you can put the interior over this stuff too. You get yourself a Dremel. This is this is absolutely imperative. Uh, if you don't have a Dremel, you're not doing it right. A Dremel and different bits, man to work with these these bodies uh, this is how you build a micro crawler I'm not touting on myself I'm putting this out there so that I can hopefully see people get it and start putting some effort in and building some really awesome stuff there are guys that, that understand and they build they build the best and everybody knows they build the best because they understand so this is like for new builders and people who just aren't getting it is like this isn't a one this isn't a 110 uh niche this isn't a, this is a niche area of the rc crawler uh hobby it's not 110 where everything's just bolt on you have to actually do stuff it's diy it always has been from back when there were no all these aftermarket products I'm, I'm blown away dude I haven't like been messing with any of this stuff for a year and I, I've looked and I'm like holy sh**. the amount of stuff out there is absolutely insane now and quite frankly there are no there's no excuse for not building these properly anymore other than you didn't want to put the effort in now if you want to build a mud truck or something or a monster truck I mean that's that's up to you uh, but this is how you build a micro crawler and that's, I guess, all I really wanted to say.